Yo, it's your boy Lord Hacker. A lot of y'all been asking me how I do the lock on follow cam effect that I do on most of my dance videos. Well, today's your lucky day. Alright, so first up, you want to get a fire video of yourself dancing. It don't matter if it's on a phone, cell phone, house phone, it don't matter. Record a video, make it look good. Come with me. We're gonna make one together. Now that we got the clip, let's go on to the computer. Boom. All right, so now you want to get the clip that you recorded on your phone, your cell phone, house phone, you know what I'm saying? This is the clip I recorded right here. Skip around. Y'all see it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all see the move. Stop playing with y'all. Boy, you feel me? Yeah, smell me, right? You want to open a program called Adobe After Effects, right? It's going to look like this. The link to the program will be in the description. It's free trial. Try it out for yourself. You need a laptop or desktop, PC, or computer to use this program, right? But you know what I'm saying? Check the link in the description, get the program, and let's get to it. So now that you open the program, you want to press new project, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to start a new project. Stop playing with your boy, right? So boom, got a new project open. Look at sexy. Look for your file on your computer. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do, drag it and place it into this little area right here. Boop. You know what I'm saying? And watch what happens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop playing with your boy. You see the little media file right here? We're looking good, boys. We're going good. We're doing good. Come on. All right, now, next step. What you want to do? You want to slide this clip right down here. You know what I'm saying? Boop. You know what I'm saying? That's easy. Don't overcomplicate these things, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, regular video, no movement. Right? You want to double click this area over here. This little blue bar where the video is. Double click it. You know what I'm saying? Go down to this area over here. Look for something called tracker. Click that. Start playing with your boy. And what you want to do, right? It might sound crazy. You're going to press stabilize motion. Click that. Now you got this little, this little bean bag of a thing right here. You're like, oh my God, what is this? It's amazing. Wow. Right? What this tracking point is, you're going to put this tracking point on something that's vibrant in the video. In this case, I like to follow my hair because, you know, it got color to it. So, I'm going to use my hair because it's easier for it to track, right? So, boom. I'm going to get this piece, zoom in, you could zoom in by, you know, just rolling, rolling the mouse, you know what I'm saying? Not playing, right? Boom. So, you zoom in, you know what I'm saying? To make it a little bigger, make the outsides a little bigger, you know what I'm saying? So, you got a little room to play with. Zoom back out. And then I'm going to go back in this section because I do not want the motion tracking to start at this point of the video. So I'm going to go ahead, zoom in, keep going. I'm going to play it through. And then boom, I want it to start in this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this point, hold left click. You see how this is happening? And bring it to my hair or whatever, whatever is a vibrant part of the video, whatever is bright and colorful. Like, if I was wearing this blue shirt in the video, I'd put it on the blue shirt because it's, it's bright. It's bright as hell. Come on, y'all. So, in this case, the brightest thing in this video is either my teeth, <laughs> but it's not always going to be, I'm not smiling throughout the whole video, so it's going to be hard when I close my mouth and then when I open it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll put it on my hair. Boop. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this outer box. So it doesn't have too much area to mess up. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to close this and make it a little tighter. You know what I'm saying? Just make it tighter. You know what I'm saying? And then you want to go to options. Boop. And then over here where it says if confidence is below 80%, all you want to do is press stop tracking. So whenever your tracker loses track of what it is that it's supposed to track, I don't know if that makes sense. But in this case, it's my hair. Tracking will stop. So boom. Bada, bing, 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 bing. Press OK. And now, all you got to do, go over here and then press the play button. And then it will start tracking, y'all. See? Real nice and slow. Mind you, if you got a long video, like a two-minute clip, like the ones I be having, it could take some time. So you got to have some patience. And it will mess up. All you want to do is recenter the thing. All you want to do is recenter. So you want to take it and just move it over. Right back, right? And if you want to go step by step, you could just go frame by frame. You could put a place in, press page down on your keyboard, you know what I'm saying? And just move it over. Go frame by frame. Or you could use this little thing here. Move it over ever so slightly. 
and just move it. But what I like to do is I move it a little bit and I just press play. I just let it continue tracking. Usually when I'm doing like a stupid fast twist or like a flip or some craziness, you know what I'm saying? That's when it go out of the whack and go crazy, my G. So, you know, slow down, some G, you know what I'm saying? But all you got to do, move the keyframe over, press play, and then you're good. And if it does it again, do the same thing again. Boys and girls, this is what I look like on a regular basis. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Shit. So after you're done motion tracking and doing the whole tracking point thing with Jigger, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is move to your right where your tracker is and press apply. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get this little thing over here, right? It's gonna say apply dimensions, X and Y. All you gotta do is press X and Y and press OK, my friend, right? So boom! Now, you see all these little tracker points over here real nice. Watch, nothing, nothing. Now, boom! Hey! Ah! Ah! You see that's not that playing with me. But now we have one problem. Who the hell want to see all these black bars around the video? How do I get rid of it? Well, let me show you, right? Navigate to your video file, press it, go to transform, and you see where it says scale? All you gotta do is bring it up, and then the black borders are gone they are nowhere to be found this is why when you want to record a follow cam lock on effect you record far away from the camera so that you can zoom in when you edit the video you see what i'm saying it makes sense because if you record it like it's a regular video and then you try to apply the effect it's gonna show black borders and then when you try to zoom in your foot cut off your head cut off your toenails cut off like it just don't look good so boom Sometimes what I like to do too is move the position around as well, right? I'll move the position because it could, it could be a little off center. So boom, I move the position and now let's play it again, right? Look at the difference, y'all. This is how you get it done. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Whee. So last but not least, you want to upload it to YouTube. So what you do is you click the file, right? Go to file. Export, add to render queue, right? You wanna go down here to the render queue section. You wanna make sure quality is on best, resolution on full, you want the maximum resolution, boys. You wanna to go to current settings, and I like to put current settings for all of them. You know what I'm saying? Custom on this, John, so it renders the entire video. Boop, you know what I'm saying? Current settings on everything, literally, look at it. Current settings on everything. Make sure when you go on frame rate, use comp frame rate so it don't change it and your video don't look weird. You know what I'm saying? So press OK. You want to go to output module, press it, right? So you want to go to format and press quick time, right? Format options, go down. You want the video codec to be H.264. OK, yes, right? Everything else is good. You don't got to change nothing. Make sure you Audio's on 48 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo, boop, and then you're good to go. Click on this output too. So you want to pick where you want to save it to. In this case, I'm going to go to the desktop just for the purpose of this video. Now what I'm going to call it is Little Moving Effect Thing People Like. Save it, press Render, and then we wait. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, hey. Now that it's done, all you gotta do is click the video and then look at the results, y'all. Hey, 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 he's on, oh, he's wild. Come on, y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys learned a lot on lock in, follow cam effect that you guys love so much. Stop playing, stop playing, stop playing with your boy. Let me know if I should do more tutorials just like this where I get in the nitty gritty of how I do my videos. You know what I'm saying? So I can help you, help me, help you. You know what I'm saying? Stop If you do not have the program, make sure to check the description box below. There is a free trial available for Adobe After Effects. Check it out. Stop playing. And if you want to get the full program, like the way I do, get the full program. Stop playing with your boy. But without further ado, make sure to subscribe, like, comment. You know what I'm saying? And tell your friends to tell their friends. You know what I'm saying? Pull up to the positive side of 2021. 
Lord had army, Lord had squad, and I'm a scared.